Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I have two Masterpiece kind of knockoff Optimus Primes. Very cool looking, two different sizes, and I am gonna go through these guys with a fine tooth comb and see if they're a good addition to your collection. Be right back. So yes, I have two of these things. They're pretty cool. This one, the smaller one, is called the KBB MP10V Car Transformation Toy Op Commander Tactical Container Action Movie Figures Model MP10 MP10 Deformation Robot. That's a long friggin' name. Now I got the one without the box and without the trailer because I didn't need another trailer because I got tons of them. And he came with some accessories, which we're gonna go through. He did too, just not as many. Now this one is the Wei Zhang MPP10, MMP10, XP10, KBB, MP10, VG1, Masterpiece, Transformation, Action Figure, Op, Commander, Model, MP10, Trailer Car, Robot, Toy. I also did not get a trailer with this one, but it's bigger and very cool. And as you can see, side by side, yeah, the Wei Zhang is much bigger. He is about 12 and a quarter inches tall, whereas the smaller one, it's about seven and three quarter inches tall, but still very cool bots. I'm gonna go through the big one first. You can hang out over there. And yeah, he comes with only one additional accessory, which is an energy X. He does come with his gun, as you can see here. And it has have uh, a little post, but it doesn't really go into the right hand. It's more for the left hand, which is odd. And of course, we all know that in the original More Than Meets the Eye episode where they introduced this energy X, it actually replaced his hand, it didn't fall out of his hand, and didn't go into his hand. But still, I'm not totally upset with this axe, it's okay. I mean, it's an energy axe, what do you want? It's also not the same color as in the show, but that's all right. The energy axe, the gun does go into his hand. The hands inside have little grooves, but there's no actual groove on that side to go into his hand. So you just kind of got to wrap his hand around and uh, that way, that can be knocked out of his hand. Now, on his other hand, there's a little bit of a groove, so you could push that in there, though it doesn't seem to want to hold all that much. And then he could be armed with an energy axe and a gun at the same time. So, armament-wise, it's not a bad setup. He is so tall that my close-up camera is having trouble not cutting off the very top of him. Now, as far as articulation-wise, well, let's do the thing. He can't do a full split, you can do a pretty good split, but not a full one. And even if you try to do a toes up, Jean-Claude Van Damme, nice tight joints, by the way. Yeah, you can't quite do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme. By the way, the plastic does not feel like knockoff plastic. It definitely feels quality, something you might get if you were actually buying an actual Hasbro or Takara product. But the legs are pretty good. He can move his leg forward, he can kick someone in the shin. He bends at the knee. He also has a swivel, so he can swivel off to the side. And he does have a little bit of an ankle rocker. It's not huge, but it's enough that if you wanted to pose him in a more dynamic pose, you could do that easily. But yeah, the ankle rocker does not move a lot, but pretty good. You know, better than uh, some of the toys out there. He can twist at the waist, which is very nice. So again, dynamic posing. The arms, obviously go all the way around. He bends at the elbow. He does have a pivot swivel in his upper arm. The fists themselves can turn and they can also, I will never make this mistake again, open up, which is not a big surprise in a masterpiece style transformer. He does have an articulated forefinger, so he can flick, Never mind. And the other three fingers are together, which is kind of expected. He's got an itchy trigger finger, so. And the head, of course, does turn, and it's got a uh, elbow joint. You can look up, look down, side to side. So overall, good posability on this guy. And again, he feels very solid. He's got some metal pieces in here. The front of the cab, the windshield area, his chest is basically metal. Now, I thought this was gonna come with the Matrix, and it did not, which was disappointing. And when I initially looked, it didn't show the Matrix, so I wasn't complaining, and now apparently you can get it with the Matrix. So if you get it, you'll get a better piece than I did. Though to be honest, once you have the Matrix, I mean, what do you do? You put it in his chest, how often do you really take it out? But it opens up in the front here, just like in the movie, in the show. He does have this piece that flips up, 
very much like the MP10. And then he's got this black piece that also swivels up. And you can see there's a spot in there for a matrix. There's, there's a matrix spot, but there's no matrix in there. So disappointing. This is Optimus, I guess, uh, right before his death or, you know, after he gave the matrix back to uh, Rodimus in Dark Awakening or in the Hate Plague uh, Return of Optimus Prime episodes before he reacquired the matrix. There we go or in the uh, War for Cybertron when Megatron took the Matrix from it. So lots of uh, posability, lots of accessories, a little disappointing about the Matrix, but again, not a big deal. I have a lot of Matrixes too. Just steal one from Galvatron, many of the Galvatrons. So before I put him into vehicle mode, I do wanna show you this is my MP01, very first Optimus Prime. And as you can see, this one's slightly taller. So I know the actual MP10 is slightly shorter, but, and how do I know that? I will show you in a bit. And I think this might be the uh, US release one because the smoke sacks are shorter. I can't remember, but it's quite possible. But as far as size wise, this is a big sad motherfucker. Now I am not gonna mess with transforming an MP01. He is a pain in the ass. And uh, I'd rather just show you this one. So there's the back view, by the way. And uh, he does have ports, which uh, aren't being used for things like a jetpack and stuff like that, but he did not come with them. And the one that came with the other one, which it did come with one, it's not gonna fit on here. All right, let's check out his truck cab mode and uh, see how good he is there. So there he is in full cab mode, nice looking cab. He does have a couple slots here, which presumably some kind of trailer can go in. He rolls pretty damn well. The wheels themselves are plastic. And it makes quite the noise when it goes across this uh, thing here, this cutting measuring board. He's slightly over 10 inches long from his tail lights, so to speak, to his front grill. The transformation wasn't too difficult. I had just, I had a little trouble because I forgot there's these little buttons here because his feet slide in, but there's little locks that keep them from sliding down and you push, push those buttons to release those locks. So very nice, looks very good. Obviously it does not have any Autobot symbols on it. You can add them yourself, of course. It does have these mirror type things on the sides. Kind of hard to see because they're small, but it does have those uh, side view mirror things that pop out. I'm guessing that's what they are. It holds together very well once you have it in the proper mode. On the bottom, you can see there's his normal grill for his uh, robot mode, which is a different design than the actual grill on the truck. But overall, a nice version of Optimus in his cab mode and the robot mode is good too. And you can't really store these, I don't believe, anywhere. This does fold, so maybe there's something we can... Uh, I don't have the instructions with me. Might be able to figure out a way to store that. The X, no. All right, let's go for the small MP10. So very similar in just about every way to the bigger one, just smaller. And it comes with a bunch of accessories, which I'm gonna go through in a moment. His uh, gun also folds up the same way. And his gun actually does have on both sides little notch things that you can kind of get into the hand but they don't like to stay that much. So I just tighten the fingers, that way you can drop it. Now he's got a lot more accessories, some pretty cool ones. He's got this metal sword. By the way, he's pretty heavy. He's got some metal chests and all pieces, but uh, you can put this metal sword in his hand. It doesn't seem like it's supposed to go with him. I've never seen Optimus use such a sword, but you never know. Thunder, thunder, thundercats, ho! Okay, maybe not. He comes with an energy ax. Now, I believe this is a different design than that because it actually goes over his fist. So it kind of replaces the fist, but it goes over instead. So you don't have to remove a hand. You don't have to put a hand away because the transformation doesn't really help with that. And he's got his energy ax, very nice. He's got three different heads three different styles of Optimus heads, including one that has a face, almost like the Machine Wars one. So I'm not gonna change the head out right now. Not something I'm really wanting to do. He also comes with a metal, at least this part is metal, this part. Yeah, the, a lot of it's metal. There's a little bit of plastic here. He's got his own Megatron gun, his own Megatron that 
he can hold. Can even put his finger on Megatron's trigger. That just sounds so dirty. So he can actually load Megatron with uh, antimatter energy and send it flying up. But very nice accessories. This has a tendency to pop off. It's a little, you slide the stock onto the back of the pistol, but still, it is good. And before we get into the posability, I'm gonna open up his chest to reveal that this one actually does have a matrix. So, got a flip, I get big fingers, which, you know, is advantageous for some things. But you flip that up and he does have a matrix inside, which does come out. I think I'll use the sword to get it out. Not the most dignified way of getting it out. That didn't sound right. Matrix, I can barely hold you. Now the posability on the arms almost, and I just say almost, allows them to reach in the front. I can do this so that he can kind of hold the matrix, maybe with his forefinger. So he can kind of hold it, but not very well. However, what's interesting with this matrix is it does open somewhat. So you can actually take this matrix and open it. Now, light our darkest hour. Wow, this is a small matrix, which is a neat feature that it opens like that. I don't know if uh, any of the other Optimus matrixes open like that, the official Hasbro ones, but I'm gonna put it back inside because we don't want Rodimus getting this. There it is, back inside where it belongs. Like I said, I'm disappointed I didn't get one with that one just because I would have liked to have the matrix, but not really necessary. So another neat feature with this guy is on his back because he comes with an additional accessory of a jetpack. Yes, he only used it in one episode and it wasn't a very successful flight, but he did borrow it from Sideswipe and it's got two posts on the back and it goes over his back area quite nicely. I don't know that Sideswipe could actually wear this. And with the two posts, it plugs right in and he's got a nice backpack. Go back here, Megatron. That's pretty much how the episode went. He flew after him and it didn't work out so well. So he's got, for the backpack, these two posts in the back. And interestingly enough, the big one also has the same two posts in the back, but obviously not spaced. This just can't fit, no way, not working. But it is a nice add-on and like the one-time use of the Energy X, a nice homage to the More Than Meets the Eye series. Who knew that the one use of a jetpack and the one use of an energy axe would spawn so many accessories for all Optimus Primes. All right, so same tests and pretty much the same posability. His split goes a little bit wider. I don't know why, but even at toes up, he can't quite do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme. About the same leg motion going forward and back, bending at the knee, swivels. Again, nice tight joints, does not feel like crappy plastic and definitely has some metal. He can also twist at the waist, arms all the way around, bends at the elbow, got the swivel, fist turn, he's got the same finger articulation with the forefinger and the other three moving as a unit. He's pretty much a scaled down version of that one for the most part. And the head of course turns, looks up. Some of it, this plate swings around so you know, it will, if the plate is stable, he can still look up a bit, but he can really look up if you let the plate move. So all the same posability, the back looks about the same, and just on a smaller scale, not a lot of kibble. And the transformation is pretty much the same. Now you might be wondering why I'm not pulling out like an MP10, which is a little smaller to compare, and I'm gonna show you why, right now. This is why. I have not taken this guy out of the box, ever. You can tell by the dust. He has been in my display case for a very long time. I have not taken him out. Factory sealed, and uh, it's tempting to do it. I don't know if you guys want me to do an unboxing and review of the Toys R Us MP10 version of Optimus, but yeah, you'd have to let me know. Obviously it has a trail and everything, but yeah, that's why if you want a size comparison, that's what you're gonna get. This one's a little smaller than this one but this one is definitely smaller than the, than the MP-01. So let me know in the comments if you really want me to bust that out. I'm not gonna guarantee I'm gonna do it because it's very, very, very pretty in its box. And do I have enough Optimus Primes to, uh, so that I can leave that one in the box? I think maybe I do. So, same posability, and again, transformation's very similar. I'm gonna go ahead and transform him for you guys. 
So there he is in his truck mode. In this case, the tires are actually rubber, which is kind of cool. And there are some other differences, but he is not as loud as the other one, but rolls very nicely. There are a couple other differences too. The mirrors on the front don't flip out. They're actually just in place. And also the wheels actually have a wheel cover that flip underneath. So when he's in robot mode, you just flip the wheel cover over and it covers over the wheels entirely. Well, not entirely, but mostly. And unlike the other one, the legs don't snap together the same way. They're just basically held at a distance by these covers. But still, it doesn't interfere at all. It's a slightly different way of doing it and it works. Maybe it's the wheel covers come with the Matrix. It's an Autobot thing. Yeah, he rolls fine. It looks pretty much identical. Okay, the bigger one is slightly faster, but that's physics. Still like the small one as far as having rubber tires. I mean, hear the difference on any hard surface. But both very cool versions of Optimus. I am not gonna mess around with putting the heads on the small one. Need a little screwdriver and I don't feel like breaking one out and you know, I like the head that's on them. Other than the size, very similar in transformation, virtually identical, except for a couple things with like the covers and both very nice and shiny, very chromey, very, they feel quality. I mean, slight rattling sound, but it's a transformer. So what do you expect? So again, I didn't get the trailer with either of these, but they are gonna go very nicely in my Optimus Prime case with, well, the other masterpieces that I have to go in there. <laughs> but I have to say this in comparison to the MP1, so much better. I am not sure if, I'm pretty sure that the transformation is probably identical. I have never taken out my MP10, so, but I'm pretty sure the transformation is identical to what he does here. I mean, just looking at all the joints and the back and all that. So I think it transforms just like an MP10, but this one's a bit bigger, this one's a bit smaller, and lots of extra accessories including the sword that I'm not quite sure of. By the power of great, nah, that's not gonna work. Skull. So I definitely recommend these guys. Now what I paid for the big one, the big one goes for right now, it's like 38.78 free shipping plus tax, somewhere around there. There might be, if I find a cheaper one of the same kind, I'll link that, but, and the smaller one actually went for $38.50. So they're very similar in price. So it really depends on what you have room for in your collection. Uh, there was some shipping on the small one, like $4.67 and of course tax, but both very cool versions of Optimus Prime. So I'm putting links to both in the description. You can decide which one you might like to get. I recommend it. If you already have an MP1, I still recommend it because these are so much easier to transform and does feel so much more solid. If you already have an MP10, you might not need to get these guys or you might want to keep your MP10 in a box or, you know, use these more for messing around with while you have the uh, original, more valuable one set aside somewhere. So while you're mulling over these masterpieces, which are very MP10-like, you can check out another oversized Optimus over here, which is from the Siege line. Very cool and definitely an upgrade to your Siege Optimus Prime. Even if he doesn't come with a gun, but you'll see. And of course, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the stuff. Let me know if you want me to open up this MP10. We'll see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.